Well, 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 what do we have here but the 1212 AD Medieval Kingdoms campaign. We finally have it, guys. It's in its alpha at the moment and it's been released. Um, we are playing, as you can tell, as the Kingdom of Jerusalem. If you've seen the title and thumbnail and stuff, you have seen that we are playing as the Kingdom of Jerusalem. So we are trying to retake, uh, well, Jerusalem, because we are a kingdom without our, our city, it would seem. We have currently Farmer, Gusta, and uh, Acre. So we'll just quickly go over the, this. The Pope. As a Catholic faction, you may play a precarious game of managing both your feudal vassals and the clergy. At the helm of the clergy lies the Pope. Supreme ruler of the Catholic Church. Appeasing the Pope may be in your best interest, as displeasing him can have dire consequences. I accept that. War weariness. The sign of a great leader is knowing how far your people can be pushed. Wars are significant, dramatic, and events that should be not be taken, undertaken lightly. I totally agree. Anyway, our main aim in this, uh, in this campaign along with taking Jerusalem, of course, we need to take Jerusalem, is to found an empire and form the empire of the Outer Rima, I'm pretty sure is, yes, the, become the empire of the Outer Rima, control 18 regions, we currently hold two, so we've got a bit of a, a way to go, I can ask the money for, uh, I can ask the money, I can ask the Pope for money, I imagine asking the money for Pope, I don't feel like that works, but anyway, we need to have, uh, not been excommunicated, be Catholic, which we are, and have a papal favour greater than seven, which we clearly do not at the moment for some reason. And we get five grand if we uh, if we get that. So, I mean, how? what is our current... Uh, actually, we can't even see the Pope currently, apparently. That's an interest. Okay, well, fair enough. We'll come back to that in a minute. <laughs> um, well, we'll deal with that uh, as soon as possible. Um... So I'm probably going to spend my money on a Templar chapter house. I've done a quick little playthrough as uh, Jerusalem. I only did a few turns. Um, I just as like the crusade, the fifth crusade starts. Basically, that is when I um, I kind of just was like, right, we'll get in, we'll start the actual campaign um, instead of just messing around in my own. Um, so chapter house, uh, Templar chapter house gives me a lot of money. I mean, if you see what it is before, it's three hundred and fifty. Um, but with an extra with an extra bit, it's now up to 550 in banking services. And we really need money because we're really short at the moment on money. Um, and then Farmer Gusta, I'm probably going to put in a... I could put in a fishing docks or a mm, trading docks. I'm probably going to go with the trading docks because, again, for money. I just need, well, need that money. Um, we're going to go with windmill. Um just to get that wealth from the agriculture buildings and we also then can upgrade all of our agric agriculture um, and then the rest of my money I'm probably going to spend on a dismounted Templar Knights early which is I can, well, I can only get one at the moment but I seem to only be able to get I don't know if that was just that one campaign that might be in a bug or something like that I don't know I can only get one apparently even though I like the population I have plenty of population um, for it so I'm not quite sure what the problem is on that. Um, but anyway, we'll quickly do some diplomacy. We Welcome. shall get... Uh, well, well we already have defensive words. alliance and trade with these guys. Military access they'd be high on. Well, I'll give them that, just in case we need it. And they'd also be high on a military alliance, so we'll take that. And now we can see the Papal States. Here we go. Non-aggression, there we go. And then we can get some stuff going there. I can see the Republic of Genoa. We've Welcome. got trade with them. The military alliance. No, I'm not surprised. Be most um, I've got Your trade with all these guys, it would seem. Audience. They'd have a defensive alliance. So I'll take that. And they'll take a military alliance. Not really sure if I wanted that, but I'm, I'll take it. I mean, they'll Be then help me in welcome. any wars. Um, trade. Yes, good. Uh, Non-aggression. Yeah, we'll take it. I mean, I'm just going to just... I align myself with most of Western Europe um, just because the Ayubids are going to be the problem. Like, they just surround me entirely. Apart, me and Antioch here are in for a rough game. So, um, Greetings, my friend. Greetings. let's see, we can get Defensive Alliance here with uh, the Kingdom of Cilicia. So, we'll need that. Oh, nope. Um, 
And I have military access? Yeah, we'll take that. Um, Latin Empire, again, I'm going to... There's quite a few people that be like, how dare you uh, betray the, 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 the true Byzantines, uh, which is the Empire of Nicaea. These guys are the true Byzantines. But I mean, uh, and ally up with the uh, Latin Empire. But I need to. I mean, they, there's more strength in, in in being with these guys, unfortunately. Um, can I get any trade with you? Like, Yes, I can. We'll take that trade. Uh, Non-aggression. Yep, sure. Principality of Achaea, you can have that. Empire of Epirus. Welcome. Yes, Let give me trade. Honest. I need all the money I can get right now. Um, and I'll take a non-aggression if the, there is one. Excellent. Right, so we'll take that. That's fine for now. Georgia. I imagine In you won't do anything. Name, and speak. Oh, no. They'll take a... They'll take that. I'm not really wanting to give them any... Anything else right now. Uh, rum. I imagine the you won't do anything. Yeah. And the Ayubid seem to hate me quite a lot. But we have trade, so they may not attack me for a while yet. They may be like, oh, we don't want to hurt, them. don't want to damage our trade. Oh, Venice. How we, oh, we've got trade with them, good. Gonna need that trade. Uh, defensive Alliance, yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that Defensive Alliance, I guess. If anyone then attacks me, really in this entire area, like, I'm, well, in this area, like, hopefully, some of these nations come and help me in some way. I am the king of Jerusalem, after all. And Cyprus. Can't forget Cyprus. But, I mean, I, I do need help. I'm going to need that help. Um, and now to appoint uh, some governors. So we'll put Pierre in Ac uh, Acre. I'm going to keep calling it, trying to call it Acre for some reason. I don't know why. Acre. It's clearly Acre. And then uh, Jean can go in Farmagusta. Or Farmagusta. Uh... So that's good. Right. Perfect. So we'll end the turn. Oh, no. We've got edicts, of course. Um, and then we'll put them on set of tribes. Because that gets extra... No, I don't care about your army. Well, I do. But just not at the moment. There we go. Perfect. Right. So because it gives us recruitment costs less for cavalry. Uh, obviously, cavalry very major in 1212. And the Templar Knights, you know, we're going to need them. So, and then also wealth from commerce, 25% great, and growth is also going to be major in uh, building up some of these cities. So, we'll end the turn. The first turn is ended, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully, uh, the Ubids don't attack me straight away. God, I could not deal with that right now. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys have also checked out the 1212 mod, and maybe even the campaign as well. It's come out every, this week, basically. Oh, dear. The Ubids are already on our doorstep. This could be a very quick campaign. But um, we'll see what happens in the next turn with them, I guess. Um, two of you... Okay, oh, no. I was about to say two of Ubid uh, trespassers, but no, just the one. And then we have also war with Georgia and one of the um, other Muslim factions, which I think are sort of like in the Corsicus area. Um, Settle tribes. Uh, Commune of Bol Bologna has been found. Right, so we better get trade with the Commune of Bologna as well. Because we're going to need it. People. We're going to need all well, the money. There we go. Non-aggression as well, mate. Lovely. That is perfect. Right. Now, let's get on with... Let's get on with That's managing this man. empire. Well, I call it empire. This kingdom. Um, I was thinking, possibly... Of taking Rhodes. Rhodes being a, a, a known crusader port. Maybe of interest to take it. And it's also I say it. It's like not easy to come and then retake. Might be an option. So this is my army here. Uh, which can... I can't really recruit much great stuff to be honest. And I need quite a bit. I mean I'm going to get this growth for this place quite quickly. I could then... I need to see what you did. Do you improve stuff? Eh. Influence. I I could do with happiness here, actually. That is the point. Um, capital center. I guess a city square would be handy. So I'll have to save up for a city square when the growth happens. I could also just buy some cheap spears or mercs. And I'm going to probably... My target... If I get chances to take roads, 
um, and have and start waging my war on Nicaea. And I could possibly move up and take some of the land up here. And I could then obviously threaten Constantinople myself. Um, I just need to build like uh, somewhere else because I just definitely can't go straight after the EU because there's no way. Uh, like I'm just gonna get a chance to until like the uh, the crusade happens, which is not too many turns in. Um, so this army is probably just gonna be a garrison army and is probably just gonna be sitting around waiting for the uh, the crusade to to happen. So I could also possibly build up some more. I might build some spears while we wait. Like oh yes, actually go back on that. I get rid of these spears. This is what I'm not quite sure on. Why can't I now get more? Dismounted Templar Knights. Am I only allowed one or something? Like, available, uh, bur I'm dead burger. I'm definitely, produ that's definitely wrong. Uh, manpower. I have 2,000. Is there a reason why I can only recruit one of these? I don't know. I wanna, there's nothing there, that's just all the stats. Only can recruit one, would seem. Very strange, I don't know if that's, if anyone knows, uh, why that is, then please let me know because I would like to get more of these guys. They're pretty solid. They've got some, I mean, they've got some pretty good stats um, for like early for early game units. Uh, also, spears are obviously key. I will need a lot of spears to like deal with their cavalry because look at all this cavalry that they've got. And they've got a lot of archers as well. Could probably do with hiring more archers, which I can just get these Templar crossbows, which are pretty solid. And this Syria, oh no, these are Poulain. Why are these ones Syriac then? And you're Poulain. But, um. I can get these guys as well. I mean, they're pretty good. I'll probably get Templar, crossbows. Just keep it to those guys. Um, but anyway, we'll end the turn. Uh, and actually, is there any diplomacy we can do? The EU is really hate us. And it, but it is improving. Ah, that's good. Good to see. Um, in my last, uh, in my last playthrough of doing this. Um, they were like neutral, so it was actually they were very passive towards me. So hopefully, hopefully they're sort of passive again. They may they may not attack until the crusade happens. They may attack before then. And if they take if they take uh, Acre, then we're just left with Famagusta, I guess. Or we can hold. I mean, I think we could hold off this army um, with the defenses that we have. I think. Oh no, here we go. Oh, maybe not. May they're gathering armies outside. I may have to move this army to defend uh, Acre as well. I think that's going to be my go-to. That is fine. Right. I do not trust you one bit now. This army is going into port here. I'm not. I'm not even going to give them the chance to attack me. So yeah, that. So it seems like all the Muslims are attacking each other, and yeah, the Ayyubids are gathering forces. It's a good thing I'm Ready starting to recruit some stuff here. They'll all be ready in a, in a turn. So we're not going to be able to attack Rhodes anytime soon. I love being the offensive, on the offensive, but it looks like we're going to be on the defensive. We may be able to counterattack and take Homs, possibly. Depends. I don't know how many big stack armies that the Ayyubids have. We also will call in people like uh, Antioch and... Uh, Silesia by doing so. So that's okay. Is there anyone else I can ally up with? I don't think so. I think the Ubids are pretty set on what they're going to do. Um, Pisa. Oh, of course, Pisa will get called in. I don't think they'll hold, keep to it, but we can hope. You will find um, I can't make any alliances with the Pope. That makes sense, I guess. I mean, nations did do it um, throughout history, but I guess we're not allowed. France was one of those who oft, often did it. Defensive alliance? Yep, that's fine. Genoa is also now in the alliance. Right, I dare these people to attack me. Um, I'm going to offer everyone military access as well so they can actually welcome, come and help me. Welcome, my friend. And will help me. Um, yeah, you take that. You also... Please, oh no, you've got it already. Excellent. Military... Yes, even better. Right, they will definitely come and help me now with these guys. Welcome. <laughs> I could make these guys... A Try and make them vassals. Be welcome. No, I didn't think so. <laughs> it's worth a try. Um, Latin Empire. Hail. Still only have that. We could... And we got them in. So hopefully, some welcome. of these nations will join in a war if the Ubis try anything. Be most welcome. Your words will find an attentive they are at war. Right, I'm just going to leave it at defensive. I don't really want a military alliance with them just quite yet. Um, but we have 9, 15 if they get recruited um, in time. So that will put it up to 20, 
four plus our garrison, which is huge. A huge garrison. And we've got some good cav, I think. Well, not good cav, but fairly strong cav. Um, the Poulain. We've got, like, Poulain Knights. They seem pretty good. We've got Hospitaller Knights and Templar Knights. They've got to be pretty damn good uh, if we need to ride out and fight some of these guys. But, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll end the turn and we'll pray to to some gods that uh, the Ubids don't attack. They're just they're just passing on through. We can hope anyway. Um, we'll see though. Hopefully the crusade happens quite soon though, so that uh, they get distracted by some other nations, like France or England, some big some big strong uh, kingdoms instead of us. Um, here we go. Okay, we've been called to arms against the Seljuks. Yeah, okay, I'll join. The Ubids have left, thank God. Right, I can send that army back to Famagusta because I'll need defending just in case the Seljuks try anything. And also, we can, um... We need the... Oh, there we go. The Fifth Council of the Lateran. Uh, that might be wrong as well. I'm awful with, like, trying to get, get stuff right. But the Fifth Crusade, it's on! Proclaimed a new crusade to free the Holy Land from the Saracens as the fourth council of the Lateran uh, held this year. Various Catholic rulers will be soon asked to join the crusade. It is intended to target is not precisely known. Well, I'm pretty sure um, if it follows history, we're going for Cairo. That is the that is the aim. We're going to go for Cairo because, you know, Cairo, that's that's what you do. You go for Cairo when you, instead of going for Jerusalem. But, I mean... It is mine to take. There we go, Silesia and Rum at war. So we will deal with them in time. I could I could recruit more stuff, I guess. Yes, yeah, some reason still can't recruit more of you chaps. I can't recruit any of you either. Is it, am I missing something? Am I supposed to be? Do I have to build a certain thing? I don't know. I'm looking at this actually. This might be. I need to build another castle. And that costs a lot, actually, to build. I could just wait and say, just save up for a castle. That might be an idea. Then I can recruit quite a lot of, like, Poulain Knights. Yeah, that might be an idea. Uh, I mean, there's so many stats for it, it goes off the board. Um, or go for a cow shed. One or the other. Cow shed or a castle. What a choice. What a choice that we have there. Um... And trading docks will be ready next turn. So we'll end the turn again. I'm like I said, I'm just saving my money up. And there's nothing really like no units I really want to build. Um It's a bit of a shame. I am certain that Oh, we found Milan and then Savoy next to them and Verona. The okay, wow. And um and Thessalonica. So we'll have a lot of trade to deal with in the next few turns. So yeah, we'll take the non-aggression with Milan. I'm not really too fussed. I don't think any of these nations are really gonna be a problem. It's more if they go on crusade. And their armies then start turning up in my country. I don't want them doing what they do to uh, the Byzantines, which is to sack their city and install other people. Though you can't really install another Catholic ruler. Well, you could, I guess. Uh, install another Catholic ruler over a current one. Here we go. Pope Honorus III. His Holiness the Pope has been gathered up to the uh, God, ending a fruitful chapter in the church history. A new Pope has been elected without delay. This man... It's a chance to guide all of Christendom. Few are more important or hold sway than he does. All good Christian leaders should support the new Pope, if called upon to do so. But if it can only be for the good of their kingdom, so it can only be, it can only be for the good of their kingdoms. But be aware, be aware. By the same token, that crossing him could have dire consequences. Don't know why that took a lot of effort to say, but we can. Uh, this area can be developed, so we will do so. And we'll build a city square, I think, because even though I'd love to build other stuff, it would seem we need to improve public order in this area. Um, though, though we already actually do have one. Is there one that's just cheap? No, actually, the third tier is just seven, 750 everywhere. I might actually be better getting like a pilgrimage chapel or a... Or a chapel, chapel, a Catholic chapel. Why can't I build one of them? In insufficient. Oh, I actually do have insufficient funds to build a Catholic chapel. I don't really want to either for maintenance reasons. Um, a Jewish dyers. I don't really want to boost 
Judaism. A blacksmith. Means I can do. Lo oh, it means I can build um, blisters and uh, catapults. Or we just build an artisan. That's possible. But again, I don't know if it's really what I want to do. I may just go with food. Just go with food. Because actually, yes, could definitely go with food. Run zero food. We need food. Food is the is the choice. Right. Um. So they're just building an army up. I don't look like they're actually building anything anytime soon. I'm not even going to bother really boosting this. I don't really want to just spend and waste my money on these rubbish uh, spears. So we'll don't, not bother. It's annoying me that you're in the middle. Can I just move you along? No, oh, that's annoying. Why are you doing that? That's very annoying. Um, but anyway, we'll get some more archers, I guess. I don't know. Four's kind of, four or five are kind of like what I ideally would want. Maybe five. Uh, I could get some mounted sergeants. They're pretty, they're alright. High health, but poor armor. So, I mean, they've got poor armor, but they can take a few hits. Well, there we go. Food so shortage. Shortage is a problem, so that's not good. Nicaea and Venice are now at war. And, yes, we have that. Oh, yes, I know. Let's do all my trade first, and then I can make a decision. Thessalonica, you're also Catholic. Ah, well, I'll... Welcome, welcome, oh, you're a my vassal friend. of the Latin Empire. Give to you and give tongue to the people's words. You're a boy. Why have you got a man's voice? That's the real question here. Uh, Non-aggression, that's all I really care. I don't really want anything else. Um, just make sure you don't attack me. Talk, and then Verona, yep, yeah, do that. I can't get any trade with you. Ah, probably because you're trading with Milan or something like that, and I can't. Welcome. Yeah. Must be honored by your... Can I trade with Savoy? Welcome, worthy no, guest. I can't. I trust you. Well, oh, the Tsardom of Bulgaria, though. Be Can welcome. we trade with them? I listen as no. But they are... F eh. I'm not too worried about them. Who cares about them? I'm apparently strength ranking 18. I don't believe it for one second. Yes, we have two decent armies. But at no moment do I ever think... Yes, I think we, we're we 18th strongest in this, this weird world. Alright. I mean, now apparently Catholicism is the major uh, religion in this area. Excellent. That is great. Catholicism is going down here. God damn it. <laughs> Can't get it all right, can we, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess... Oh, Syria. Uh, crossbows can be recruited here as well. No, I didn't want that. I wanted this chap. He's a... So why are you Poulain? I don't know. There's the small questions in life I don't really need to answer, but I'm going to... Do I need to save up for anything, really? I could save up for a castle... 6,000 maybe. I'm going to go military first and get some mounted uh, mounted sergeants. There we go. 18. We'll have 18 in this unit. I probably will get rid of those terrible spears. I don't really want them. I'll replace them with some Templar sergeants instead. Um, we'll end the turn. Oh, no, we won't. We've got some things that need doing. Um, thinker. And actually, can we... Uh, I will take that. I'll take wealth there for you. We'll do your other one next time. Uh, personal influence? No, I'm fine with that. And you can have tax. Authority? Well, I don't really care. I guess I could go down that way. Public order. What are these? And campaign movement range. Uh, yeah, I'm not really too fussed about all them. I may go down this way next. I'm not sure. We'll see. We will see. Um, end the turn. And anyway, let's see what happens. Not much, obviously. This is a very much an introduction just to 12-12 campaign. Um, kind of for myself and also for you guys. And unfortunately, I am certain that with your famed wisdom, we cannot you go to war from your friendship. straight away with these goddamn Ayubids. But yes, I will take your money and your military alliance. Go on then. I should have Actually, I should have asked for more. Damn it. Why didn't I ask for more? Why have they left their city just undefended and they've gone all the way? It's a balmy reason. I might actually support them and try and take Atalia. Yeah, let's give it a go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. 
The Pope has called a crusade for Cairo, calling upon all the righteous Catholics to take up the cross. There he is. Apparently that's the Pope. He looks very holy. In his armour. Where are we off now? Ah, we're off to Egypt, of course. And there's two men on top of each other. That's that's bugged out. Uh, his Holiness hopes that the conquest of Egypt will help will provide a staging ground to retake the rest of the Holy Land for Christianity. I hope so too. So it is like I said, it's going to be Egypt. And there's Jerusalem. There he is. Some chappy just standing there. I hope these aren't these guys aren't actually all their armies because if they are, then they've got a lot of armies of the Ubids. The choice now befalls you. Should you participate in the Crusades, you may gain the Pope's favour and many riches, but sit it out and there may be consequences. Well, I won't then sit out, will I? I might not commit straight away because I've got other plans, but I'll be there. I'll turn up eventually. Also, it just re reminded me, what's my... I'm blooming loved by the Pope. I'm going to ask for that money. Apparently I can't. I need papal favour. So papal favor, what is, what is that? Where do I see it? Well, here's my family, and here's a kid. Interesting. Um, I could actually just put you in there. Does that cost anything? I don't know. We're gonna put you in there anyway. We're gonna get you a promotion. I can't do anything for you, so I don't really care. Um, <laughs> um, we will could try and gather support we'll do that um, and then we're going to oh we've done our windmill excellent so we can I'm probably gonna go for trade right grants next then okay, I just need to keep giving that money in we're now on 2,000 a turn which is excellent brilliant for uh, recruiting troops if I can afford any papal favor where is that I want to see is it gonna be on the papacy do I just click on the papacy and I can see papal favor no. If anyone knows where Papal Favor is, that would be amazing. Because I want that money so I can build a castle. Oh, there we go. Papal, papal Standing. I'm fifth. I need seven. Oh, no. Papal Standing. Is that the same as Papal Favor? No. Greater than seven. Maybe it is. Papal Standing. Maybe it is. Five. I, I bet if I join the crusade, he'll love me. My war weariness is zero percent because obviously I've not been in a war. Um, these guys are pretty awful. I wouldn't bother with them. Um, but it's not really that much else I could get. I could get more crossbows, I guess. I mean, they're gonna bring a lot of archers themselves, I imagine. Sure, this army is pretty damn full of crossbow. Well, not crossbows, but archers. Um, I'm going to send this army to try and help take this uh, city. I'm going to try and take anyway. And then we could got a nice staging off point to take roads if we want to do still do that. Else? This is my faction leader. It is. Hughes is all the way over here. What's he doing not in the king's army? Um, oh, I could save up. I don't really need any more uh, food at the imminent moment. I don't really want to bring down my... Uh, my uh, public order anymore, that's the one. So I'm going to end the turn. I think this will probably be the final time of the episode. We have finally got the crusade on the way. Um, and we'll see who joins, I guess. In this turn. Actually, I bet a lot of people just, just may have just turned up in that one. I should have had a look. Let's see. Should have had a look to see whether they were. But I mean, I don't think the Ubids will attack me. They'll play on the defensive... And then it's up to me whether I join, and then the Ubers can take me out that way. But Rum has a garrison at the layer. See what Silesia does. It's a pretty big army. I think Silesia's been, so yeah. I don't know. Maybe not. You think it's done, and there's like another ten factions appear. There's so many. They just stay in there. Okay. Um, I'm going to just leave my army there for now. Office secured. Great. And unforeseen complications. We actually lost control. Brilliant. What an idiot, Hughes, you are. France declared war. The Holy Roman Empire and Hungary declared war. Okay. We've got some pretty big kingdoms joining the crusade. I mean, it could have been nice if we had some bigger ones, but... 
We didn't. Um, so now, oh, my control has, I think has massively hit, hit my, um, hurt my, like, income. I don't know. I don't know, my income just took a huge hit. Anyway, I can't actually even try and read it get control because he's got no influence. What an idiot you are. Idiot. How much do you... Often it just says how much you get a turn of influence, but I bet he's not even getting any at the moment. What a fool. Um, He should be my heir. Or is this person my heir currently? I don't know. I mean, I want to make Jean my... Oh, yeah, he can, yeah. Declare him, I'll make him my heir currently, yeah. Why not? Jean can be my heir. I'm not actually all Brit, and then go, we've got a boy there. Cecil can't really be my, my, uh, my heir. But I mean, yeah, that, there we go, we're looking at the faction. Ferdinand, Behemond. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, not much I can do. Um, I could recruit more stuff in preparation. I may, I may go for Homs first and try and like aggravate him that way. I don't know. Oh god, yeah, they really need to turn around. I'm gonna turn back to Farmer Gusta myself because I actually can't make it there in one turn. Is it because it's autumn? I wonder. I wonder if it's because of autumn I take a hit on my thing. Anyway, I'm gonna send my army back. Um. Integrity's going down currently, but that's I think because of politics. Yeah, it says well it says because of politics. My stupid decision to go to uh for control. I should have just left it how it was. I usually do, I don't really dabble as much as I should in the politics, but if I usually leave it how it is, nothing usually nothing usually that bad happens. Um I may just get rid of these guys like now. I don't know. I really want to just recruit some goddamn Templars, but I have a feeling I need someone else to do it. To do so, and I'm not really sure what. Um, I could just get a cow shed. Well, I'm so close to getting uh, a castle, and it's not. But it's going to take two more turns, I think, of of waiting. Yeah. So anyway, guys, we will end the episode here. Um, please leave a like and subscribe to join the Papal Legion, and also to see more 1212 uh, action as we take on. Uh, the Ayubids hopefully in the next few turns when we join the crusade so if you want to see that then like I said leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here and until next time legionnaires bye for now